She certainly had a military training instructor that likely told you that, hey, one of you could be the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, and you actually believed it. So I'm fairly confident that I was standing around a bunch of other young men and women that thought it was possible. And certainly it is. I mean, I sit here today, but uh, I think quickly when you get out into our Air Force and you realize just, uh, you know, what it's all about and the people that are in it, you kind of start to move away almost immediately from this idea that you're going to be a Chief Master in the Air Force and you really just kind of start to focus on being the best airman you can be, uh, doing the best job you can do. When you really look at the accomplishments of the men and women and their families and what we've been able to do for our nation, what we've been able to do for our Air Force, I'm extremely proud of that because I can really ha I have a, a full appreciation for the challenges and the sacrifices associated with doing what we do and, and how they step up to it every day despite all the things that would just continue to kind of, you know, get their claws in your back and try to drag you back down from getting it done. Our folks persevere. They persevere in some of the most challenging and difficult environments. And uh, every time I get to tell their story, uh, you know, those are my proudest moments. Every time I can stand in front of our elected officials, the American people on a stage in front of thousands of people and tell the story about an airman, that's my proudest moment as the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. This position is not about Jim Cody and it hasn't been about the 16 chiefs that went before me. It's about the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force position, what it represents to the force and to the American people and how we best utilize this position uh, for the advancement of the force and for the support of the force. So I think you just have to constantly remind yourself it's not about you, it's about the, the you know privilege and opportunity to serve in the position. I think there's a lot of stuff that, you know, if you, if you looked in the drawer and said, hey, these are the things that we were talking about and working about, you would have liked to seen some of them kind of close out. When I sit there and say that, I don't know that I could say that in, in earnest to sit there because, my goodness, you know, our Air Force has been doing a lot. You come full circle with all this. So this has been a professional honor uh, uh, of a career, right? You know, you, you know, how could I think that we've been anything, both of the and I have been blessed and privileged to have a, a, a lifetime of service in our Air Force. Um, I'll miss the people. We'll miss the people uh, for sure. And, you know, former Chief Master Sergeants of the Air Force, we never really go away. We, we kind of, you know, we own our Air Force for life. Uh, so while I'll certainly give uh, Chief Wright plenty of space to get his legs underneath him uh, and be in the background if he needs us, um, uh, you'll see, you know, uh, Chief Cody and Athena still very much so supporting our Air Force in any way, shape, or form we can.